Okay, folks, uh, they basically admitted now off of Kepler, NASA. Uh, I'm getting trying to get to the official NASA site. There's other sites that are almost can be trusted better than NASA, but I mean at least that they, they have to show NASA stuff first, and we love NASA. Got to bust their balls all the time, but basically we're busting power, money, and control. That sits there and goes, oh, we can't let the public know about this because they wouldn't be able to handle it very good and this and that. So uh, these uh, in the gray right here are more than likely going to be verified, but the gray color is unverified, if you can imagine that. But it's pretty big and pretty good size and pretty good size and I don't know how long that they want to it's probably not the rotational around enough to be verified now on average most of this or at least what they've given us for a number rotates 127 days around its star okay uh, a lot of the stuff is in the dark uh, on our back door, Uranus, Neptune, and most of these objects are Neptune to Earth size. And let's go to the data on that. And I got a dialog box here that should be able to show up. I think it'll stay up. Artist concept shows overhead view of these orbitals. You can back up my video here that I just showed you, okay? Should be able to get this to keep reading here. Let me see if we get it to. And no, it won't because now we're getting... There you go. Ames, this so this has come from Ames, uh, and I'm basically getting it off of the net, off of it. I'm just not going to disclose because basically you just never know who's trying to set who up. But I've got official logo of something off the internet, somebody using NASA's name and saying Ames UC Santa Cruz has basically put this out, verifying that this stuff is here. So let's pop down a little bit more on screen size. And we will try to stay away from advertising because I hate flipping advertising and then we'll pump it up a little bit. But I think this is going to be about the best size I can get to keep the advertising away. There we go. So uh, maybe we hit, we'll hit 250, see what happens. So there we go. We've got a good size for this picture. So artist concept shows overhead view of orbital positions of planets. And... Uh, we knew of perhaps five exoplanets whole sky and we'll pop down to minus at one and then we'll just cruise down. Kepler discovered more than 60 planets, more than 2300 planet candidates. Okay, So they're verifying like 60 now they say then basically and that's different from what I was reading from the other place's article but appreciate that one but that either, there's a lot of psyops, bullet BS on a site that I get mail from, but it's the idea that every once in a while you just find something that's well, okay, let's go find, but let's go find exactly what they're saying. So, so Kepler keeps finding stuff. It's just basically Kepler's up there and has nothing in its way. No telescope, cloud over. Our American, I mean, you know, you know, world atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am such an asshole American. But our Earth's atmosphere, and I guess we think the Royal Astronomy, Astronomical Society, so they're all working together trying to figure out, because the richest people in the world are scared that we're going to get our little shorts flamed off because we're going to follow the sun, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is in the supergiants. Okay, so cargo craft. So Russia got another rocket up, must have, and then we got a rocket we're working on. Okay, so all this stuff is out there in real, and I had that other blow up that was way bigger, and I think it's when I just click on it, I get that, and then yep, we get to the big superimpose, and then I can just I think go to a hundred percent. So all of these planets are out there now, folks. So now they're going to start teaching the kids in the classrooms somewhere. So be careful of what they're teaching your kid in school and match it up to see if it's something that you can actually get on the Internet and see because there's a shitload more than Jean, uh, Jupiter and so forth and so on. 
and because they've admitted here that they have found it as big as Jupiter. And we already know from me showing you that there is something out there that's 747 times the size of the flipping sun. And it takes almost 11 Jupiters to make the sun. Okay? So there's some big ass stuff out in space, ladies and gentlemen. Now, like I say, an explanation for the gray ones, which would be like this one. This one's basically getting confirmed because they say it's just the gray that's unconfirmed. The one that's very much on the inside, it's just viewing is probably is what they're the deal. They're probably catching it on radar and getting it back on, just like when they get the Soho. It's basically a photocopier, ladies and gentlemen. You get a photocopier, layered images of photos from outer space. That's how they get it because it's electronic data. Okay, they get the background, then they they add to it layer, 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 layer. So the idea that they pretty much know that something that big is there rotating around, but they're probably trying to verify how many days it rotates around, and if it takes a long time for it to rotate. So these are probably very much more slower rotators, okay? This one here, this large object there, that there object there, which is probably hella large. When you look at these, even though it's a smaller dot, like I've showed you in the past, when we have showed you diagrams with the idea that comparing the Earth to just the Sun, we are just like a pebble like this compared to something like that, but actually even smaller than that, like the little black spot that's in the middle of that little gray compared to the Sun. Okay, and that's not the sun. That's a, more than likely a new star. Now, they say that the color is like what they have found, that they know it's there. So I would, and they verify it. So all the colored stuff, green or whatever, it's just the only thing that they don't have totally 100% verified yet is the gray colored ones, which was basically this, 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 an inner there, some inners here, inners there, inners there. And it also might be in that one there. And it might be the fact, the idea that it rotates around and also that. That it rotates around too damn fast. Now, this is verified because that's not gray. Okay? So, and the, all this is verified. And most everything on this has been verified. Okay? So, there's stuff that's basically rotating around too fast or too slow that they're not got 100% verification yet on. Okay? But... They seem to be pretty distinct enough, and yeah, a duh, because if it's given back an image of something that big and something in there, then there's something rotating out there in space. And a lot of also this is also they won't just uh, admit to you it's a lot more than what they're saying. It's the Kepler, because Hubble can turn around and take shots of certain stuff, okay? Then they blow it up like old school. That's what they, they know a bunch of stuff about the moon that they ain't telling you because they've blown up pictures before the moon, and they haven't told you what's there. Because I have, and a lot of other people have. So each one of these new objects has two to five closely spaced transient planets. Uh, and like I say, folks, they're not really telling you that it's in the dark, but basically this stuff is in the dark, okay? It's away from the sun or a back door towards Neptune, Pluto, Uranus, and stuff like that. And there's stars out there, and they have to wait for them to get just in the right position to be able to get them. The first of it is when you go to Worldwide Telescope, you will, and I think that even gives explanations on Worldwide Telescope, the idea that they caught glimpses of stars a long time ago, back behind there, and I think it was Kepler, the, the earlier one. Okay. Kepler 33, and I think there was even a lower Kepler number, and I think they even stated, yeah, like Kepler 25. But the thing is, more than likely, we had Kepler 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 23, okay? So missions, whether it's another rocket, another uh, satellite, yeah, there's tons of stuff out there, okay? And get away from the advertising, and because I've showed you on the blown up earlier. So all this stuff's out there, and NASA's telling about it, because people are freaking, because people see stuff on the Internet, which is good, because someone's got to blow it, because NASA's not going to tell you diddly nothing until you, they get pressure. Okay, and I go to my satellite information, and then the idea that they could sit down to where that's the number of the objects. Okay, it's not just the satellites that go out there. So Kepler one, two, three, four is objects on up in this catalog where I showed you when I had it blown up. Okay, so it might just be the Kepler, and then you can go to NASA's thing and check out the search for habitable planets and see how many actually Keplers or whatever they've named the satellites, and also if Hubble does any of the looking and sees it, okay? So, and they were talking about how the idea that's bigger than our sun. Now, we already know by looking at the supergiants that we know that there's suns that are bigger than the sun. So, 
there's some kind of crazy everything with the sun that everybody just thinking and realizing that there's just one sun there all the time. There's a lot more, okay? There is four to 78 times the size of the sun in the supergiants, and there's 100 stars there, okay? There's tons of stars. Every, there's tons of stars. There. You go out at night every night, and you can see stars, okay? There's tons of suns out there. A sun is a star. A star is a sun. It's like there's devil worshippers of sun worshippers, okay? I mean, everybody likes the sun. Everybody likes to get a tan and everything like that. It's just that there is more than one sun out there, and more than one sun's light hits the earth, i.e. the videos that I've showed you of stars propagating and making what's going on with the volcanoes over in Japan. So with that being said, let's go over and see if I can see some action over Now, what everybody needs to remember uh, that everybody doesn't talk about Saturn too much, which is why, because if you look at the pictures that we've gotten back from the moon, one of the moons of Saturn is Titan. And when you see the rocks, and if you're anything into a geologist or anything like that, we need to get trees on Titan or anything that's some, got anything features like Titan basically which is somewhat considered a moon of Saturn because of the distance. So now we have them throwing us out to basically the astronomer, the German astronomer, that's what all that stuff was uh, named after that I was just talking about a few minutes ago. Okay, And they have found these objects and they are 1 to 2 point or 1.2 uh, larger than Earth and there's stuff bigger than Jupiter and everything like that. But you have to remember that Saturn, we have not seen any blast from the supergiants or the sun at Saturn. As you see, we'll go back up here to our map. The sun's always in the well in the hole. Saturn's far enough out. Is it too cool? Also, Jupiter, we know that more than likely the temperatures are too cool, okay? We are Earth in a beautiful rotation, okay, of the sun. And I'm not trying to scare anybody, but we do follow the sun, okay? So, Mars, we know, have seen a blast, and also Mercury, okay? So, Mars got the last CME blast that the sun's got going on through the supergiants, okay? We are next, okay? So, but we are hanging out, since we're a hell of a long ways from Mars, we are in a beautiful area away from the sun. Yes, folks, stacking. We are, even though you see that rotation there, the Earth is farther away from the sun than Mars is, okay? Stack, okay? Then Venus, okay? Their orbit, yeah, orbit, but where they stacked closer to the sun and the supergiants. The sun is way below all this, and the supergiants also, and, i.e., we've seen Mars get blasted and get a, and sending CME reactive flares to the CME flares from the sun and the supergiants, okay? So, the moons of Saturn, and also anything possibly, to, but we've seen Jupiter in the past in footage also from SOHO, send off a CME reactive flare, okay? You need to find out if you've seen anything from Saturn ever, and I really kind of doubt it, and I think that's the secret. Saturn and its moons are where anything could, could survive or we could go. Uh, and also... We know that Uranus and all that stuff way deep out back, and then we know that worldwide telescopes that they've showed, and also with all this Kepler information, that there are suns out there besides the supergiants and the sun, which the sun is in the supergiants' main sequence, and getting CMEs and crazy like crap. Now, layers, folks, and we know that normally they don't show us the big CMEs on the layer shots, okay? So things are starting to squirt out, because we know that the, all the photos are layers, okay? So now they're starting to show layers on that. Now, interesting because we know that this is behind, okay? Okay? And somewhat, mag this is a magnetic shot, okay? So where's it at in this shot here? Because it's there. Yes, folks, that planet there is in this shot here, okay? Behind, and then also over here, and then we'll go to the map where these were taken and angles at and what they should be looking at. Now, I would believe that this is probably Mars right there, okay? Because that's what we've been seeing giving a reactive CME flare to an actual CME from the supergiants and the sun, okay? More than likely, that is Mars. If not, what the hell is it? And that is also on this, because we know that this image is there on the behind shot, okay? Different hours, but it's there, okay? So what moves that fast and gets in that shot? Okay, so we've got Mercury and Venus. Should be in those shots, the A and the B that I just showed you, okay? Earth, A shoots that way. It's got Mercury, and the B has got Venus. So, so Venus, because we know it's behind, 
and Mercury's over here. There's Mercury. Mercury. More soon.